Hi there, it's Miss Barb again. Uh, we're so glad you liked our first ever virtual story time that we'd like to uh, give you another one. Uh, the book that I want to share with you is Mo Willems' Pigs Make Me Sneeze. Gerald and Piggy are some of my favorites. Here comes Piggy doing somersaults. He says, Gerald, what do you want to do today? I want a, 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 yes. Uh, 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 a what? Uh, 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 a ball, a swim, a hat. Shoo! Are you okay? I do not know. I, ah, shoo! I cannot stop sn ah, shoo! sneezing. Oh, no. What if, what if, what if pigs make me sneeze? Achoo! What if you tried to sneeze more softly? Sorry. But if pigs do make me sneeze, then I cannot be near you. Then we cannot be friends then we must be apart forever. But Gerald, no, do not speak. It is too late. I, uh, 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 ah! Chew. Goodbye. Gerald, He's going off sniffing. He's very sad. And there's the cat, who also happens to be a doctor, and he's wondering what's wrong. And he says, are you okay, Gerald? No, I'm not okay, Dr. Cat. Pigs make me sneeze, and Piggy is a pig. Piggy is also my best friend. Achoo! Great, now cats make me sneeze, too. And there he is, Fud, he's given up. I do not think pigs make you sneeze. I do not think cats make you sneeze. I think you have a cold. A cold? You're sick. I'm sick. Oh, thank you, doctor. Piggy, Piggy, great news. I have a cold. And Piggy says, good for you, because he's given the cold to Piggy, too. <laughs> what a cute book. Thanks for listening again.